Accusations of police brutality. See the video and you decide. Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. The stunning new video puts the NYPD in the hot seat and launches a departmental investigation. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer shows us how a routine sidewalk stop took a violent turn. It's surveillance video of a marijuana arrest that is hard to watch. A cop punching a 16-year-old suspect in the face, and then, after he puts up his hands in surrender, another cop bashing the suspect in the face with the butt of his gun. I'm horrified. I'm absolutely hor horrified by what I see. These officers assaulted my client, one of them with the butt of a weapon. They could have killed him. That gun could have gone off in my client's face, seriously injuring him people walking by. Attorney Amy Ramo says the cops committed a crime, assault, and should be prosecuted. They broke his teeth, front teeth. They injured the inside of his mouth. He had some swelling. Brooklyn District Attorney Kenneth Thompson was brought into the case after the NYPD Internal Affairs Bureau sent him the video. What's depicted on this video is troubling and warrants a thorough investigation, he said in a statement. But Patrolman's Benevolent Association President Patrick Lynch says the video doesn't tell the whole story. It doesn't show what the police officer saw or raised their suspicion. They leave out the fact that there was a foot pursuit where police officers had to chase this individual as he threw something down. That's a dangerous situation for police officers. And there is also the suspect's arrest record. According to cops, on August 1st, he was arrested for the sale and possession of marijuana. August 29th, the marijuana bust that was caught on tape. August 31st, just two days later, arrested for gambling on the street and criminal possession of a loaded weapon. The cops claim he tossed the weapon as he ran away. Elected Mayor de Blasio saying the age of cell phone number. cameras has made many more things public. We're seeing some things that uh, maybe they existed uh, in large measure before. We can't tell for sure because we didn't have the documentation. We do know now what we're seeing. And it's important that there's a full investigation and where appropriate that there are consequences. Well, the NYPD has taken action against the two cops. The officer who used his gun has been suspended without pay. The other officer was placed on modified duty and stripped of his gun and badge.